Hello everyone, welcome to Seaborn Lecture 3. In this video, I am going to show how to plot a categorical plot with the help of Seaborn and Python. First of all, uh, you can see this is a example, one of the example for a categorical graph. So you can see here, uh, there are multiple categories like uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in X axis and uh, here uh, in Y axis, we have numerical data like 0, 10, 20, 30 like that. So before entering into the graph, we need a, we need to know two things. The first one is what is the difference between um, uh, uh, categorical data and uh, numerical data. I will explain this uh, with the help of our data set. So here I am going to show um, the example from tips data set. Here we have multiple columns. Uh, here uh, both the numerical data as well as categorical data are present. Uh, first in total will. So in this column, it is a numerical data. Uh, the reason is because it has a continuous numerical values. You can see here 16, 10. These are numerical values. So it comes under numerical data. And the second one, tip is this column is also a numerical data. And the third one, sex, it is a categorical data because it has two categories. The first one is female and the second one is uh, male. So it comes under a uh, categorical data. And the Fourth one, smoker is also a categorical data because it has two categories, yes or no. Like that, uh, this day is also a categorical data, okay. The reason why I am saying this is, uh, in categorical plot, we need to specify categorical data as x-axis and numerical data as y-axis, okay. So first, I will uh, show the types of uh, categorical plot. This first type is count plot okay basically what a count plot is a count plot basically counts the categories and returns a count of their occurrence uh, first i will show the graph then it's easy to understand yeah uh, looking at the plot we can say that uh, number of males is more than females in our data set right so you can see how many times the male occur in our data set and uh, how many times the female occurs in our data set. So this is why we are using this plot. It is a very simple plot used in a C bond. And now I will explain the program. Uh, we are using three libraries. The first one is C bond uh, in order to plot the count plot. And the second one is matplotlib in order to plot the graph. And the third one is optional. It's a NumPy library. If you want to perform any mathematical operation means we will use this library. Here it's not needed. And the fourth line, df is equal to sns dot load data set. Uh, first of all, we need to access our data set. So here I am going to access our data set from online. For that, uh, I am using the syntax sns dot load data set. And inside the single quotes, I specified the name of the data set. Here I am going to use tips data set from online. That's why I specified the tips, the name of the data set. And the this line sns dot set inside that style is equal to white grid so the reason why we are using this line is uh, to set the background for our uh, graph i will show it uh, again so here this is the background you can see the white grid here so this is the meaning for that so sns dot set uh, style is equal to white grid will plot the background as a uh, white grid and the last one sns dot count plot so the reason why uh, i used count plot is here is uh, we are going to plot count plot right so that's why i specified a sns dot count plot if you are using any other plot means you have to specify the name of the plot here sns dot uh, that name of the particular plot and inside that uh, in count plot, we need only one axis, the, that is the x-axis. As I said earlier, that should be in categorical data. So I specified a sex here. So here there are two categories, male and female. It will be automatically plot. And the second parameter is data is equal to df. Here you need to uh, uh, assign the where your data set is stored. So I stored uh, our data set in df. That's why I men mentioned like data is equal to df. Then finally plot dot show. So without this, uh, it can't show the graph. Okay, that's all. So this is the 
count plot. I hope uh, you understand the count plot. Next, we will move to strip plot. Yeah, here it is. Basically, what a strip plot is, it basically creates a scatter plot uh, based on the categories. First, I will show the graph, then you will understand it uh, better. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is our uh, strip plot, and you can see various categories in the x-axis. And here, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. These are the categories. And here also, I used two categories. The first one is uh, uh, yes, and second one is no, uh, which means uh, smokers, non-smokers. Okay, uh, I will explain this in program. So. First, uh, as I said earlier, we are going to use uh, three libraries. The first one is Seaborn is for uh, plotting the strip plot and the second one Latplotlib is used for plotting the data and the last one is uh, not needed. It's not mandatory actually. It's uh, just for mathematical calculations and the df is equal to sns.load data set inside that i specified the name of the data set here i am going to access the data set from online that's why i specified a sns.load data set and the next line sns.set uh, style is equal to white grid the reason i used white grid is to select the background for our graph so you can see white grids are there okay then the next line sns here the name of the plot dot strip plot will automatically plot the strip plot here i am specifying x as x axis as day you can see here yeah then y axis as total bill so it is a numerical data and here data is equal to df is nothing but you need to uh, specify in what variable you store your data set and the second thing is jitter uh, yeah jitter is equal to true the reason why i used uh, jitter is equal to true here is uh, when you have many points and in your data set that may overlap uh, in our graph to avoid that we use uh, jitter is equal to true it will display the graph clearly without overlapping you can see there is no overlapping here okay so that's why i used uh, jitter in order to avoid uh, overlapping and i used another parameter hue is equal to smoker uh, what is the meaning for the hue parameter is basically hue parameter used for further add a categorical separation uh, you can see in our uh, graph so this is because of hue here i specified a uh, hue as smoker there are two categories uh, in smoker one is yes and one is no so i specified categories as hue and uh, you can see uh, it is it shows both uh, smoker as well as non smoker so and uh, it show it by different colors so for smoker it shows as uh, blue and non smoker it is similar to our orange color okay so that's uh, that's why we are using hue and the last one dodge is equal to true uh, i will actually be, uh, the why i using dodge is equal to true is first i will remove that you can see the data with the dodge is equal to true look like this uh, if you are not uh, using uh, dodge in our program means it will automatically assign as false so i will show how it look like uh, if you are setting dodge is equal to false means it will overlap both the colors are overlap i will uh, i will run the program you can see it better so yeah you can see if i if i am removing removing dodge is equal to true means it will overlap both the smokers yes and no to avoid that in order to for in order to clear visualization we will use this uh, dodge is equal to true for a clear visualization and also for uh, avoid overlapping yeah you can see it here so now both are separated for that only we are using uh, dodge is equal to true that's all about a uh, strip plot next we will move to our uh, swamp plot of, uh, basically uh, it is 
very similar to our strip plot except the fact that uh, points are adjustable so that uh, they do not overlap uh, in our uh, strip plot we used a jitter parameter in, uh, in order to avoid overlap but here uh, it will be automatically rectified with the help of a swarm plot i will show that uh, it will look similar to our strip plot you can see yeah see uh, but there is no overlapping here so here x axis as uh, categorical data and y axis as numerical data now i will explain the program uh, first of all i am using three libraries the first one is seaborn and the second one is matplot and third one is numpy and here i am using the same data set uh, the sns.load data set uh, is used to access the data set from online and here inside the single quotes you need to specify the name of the data set i am using tips data set and the next line uh, sns.set uh, is used to set the background for our graph here i am specifying white grids you can see the white grid background here and the last thing sns dot i uh, here i am going to use swarm plot and I, there are we are using three parameters the first one is x axis and the second one is y axis and third one is our data set so in x axis i am selecting categorical data as day so you can see uh, these are categorical data thursday friday saturday and sunday and y axis i am using numerical data okay and the last last thing is i am assigning uh, where my data set is stored in a variable so here it's stored so data is equal to df okay that's all and lastly the plot dot show will display the graph without this it won't the python compiler won't display the graph so don't forget that and this is our swarm plot that's all about it it's mostly similar to our strip plot okay so that's all about uh, swarm plot and the final one is the box plot basically a box plot shows the quartiles of the data set while the whisk is extended to the show rest of the distribution and here also first i will show how what is uh, how the box plot look like yeah here it is you can see uh, these are the various boxes and here also i specified few parameters in order to further distribution uh, we can see the total bill spent each day so in thursday friday saturday and sunday and here i used a hue parameter used to further add a categorical representation this is due to hue parameters and then by looking at the plot we can say that the people who do not uh, who do not smoke uh, smoke do not smoke had a higher bill on friday so i can see here so people who do not smoke paid more bill in friday so with the help of uh, this visualization we can understand these type of uh, data and uh, that's all about this box plot mostly we will not use a box plot we will mostly use a swarm plot or a strip plot and now i will explain the program so Coming to the program, as usual, I used the three libraries. The first one is Seaborn, the second one is Matplotlib, and third one is NumPy. And the fourth line is uh, SNS dot load set a data set uh, in order to access the data set from online. And you need to specify the name of the data set inside the single quotes. And this line SNS dot set will set the background for our uh, graph. You can use uh, any type of uh, background, but uh, you need to specify the syntax here. So that's all and the next one sns dot box plot box plot here why i used box plot is uh, i am going to plot box plot and here also i used uh, four parameters the first one is x axis and the second one is y axis and the third one is where our uh, uh, data set uh, are stored in a variable and the third one is hue for further separation okay the first one x is also a categorical it must be a categorical data so i specified x axis as day you can see Wait, I will run this program. Yeah, 
So you can see X as uh, categorical data and uh, Y as numerical data total bill. And the third one is where I stored uh, my data set in a variable. So in DF I stored my data set. And the last thing is hue is equal to smoker for uh, for the separation. And this is not mandatory. You can remove this also. I will run this program without a hue. But the visualization is not look nice that's why i use the hue so it combines uh, both the smoker and non-smoker that's why so if you want to classify further means you need to specify hue in order to your uh, to look uh, your graph nicely and if you are using hue means it easy to understand the data from the graph that's why i'm using hue here that's all about uh, categorical plot if you have any doubts or any queries means please let me know in my comment section i will clear that and thanks for watching keep supporting us